Hello and welcome to Gina Moon. This is your weekly tarot reading. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and take a look at your dominant energy and your dominant energy represents the energy that's influencing your entire reading. I'm also going to take a look at your past, present, future energies, anything unforeseen in your challenges and also in your opportunities that are coming towards you. Without further ado, Libra, let's go ahead and jump right in. Also remember that this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. It could be you towards somebody, somebody towards you. If you feel the need to reverse the roles and go ahead and do so. Also, remember that this can be for your sun, your moon rising, or your Venus placement. So if those positions are dominant within your chart, then go ahead and check those positions out as well, because those might resonate with you more than this one. Okay, let's go ahead and see. You are starting with the dominant energy of the drum roll. You have the number 39 Namaste. Okay, so here with Namaste, there is something this week that is telling you to connect to the universal forces, to connect to, you know, source energy. I feel like some of you guys might have been or might be disconnected from source, from yourself. Okay, so this is all about you meditating, connecting with the universal forces, with your spirit guides, with your angels. Okay. Let's see why this is here. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at this other deck. We're going to go ahead and clarify your past, present, future energies. And in the past, you have here the Ace of Cups, present energies, you have here the Wheel of Fortune, and also in the near future, you have here the King of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, you have here the Empress. So it could be Taurus, Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but I do see that here at the bottom of the deck, there's something here that is growing. It's blossoming, it's growing, and or it has a potential to grow. This is all about you tuning into your feminine aspects, your feminine energy, whether you are male or female, doesn't matter. We all have of masculine and feminine energy. So it's all about you being more nurturing, okay? You being more understanding, that sort of thing, you know, kind of like that mother energy. Some of you guys might be actually dealing with a mother, okay? Or you are a mother. So tune into those energies of nurturing, of understanding, okay? Of helping something grow by nurturing it, okay? Now here in the recent past, I see that there was a brand new love. There was a lot of love, okay? You opened up your heart chakra. Somebody else may have opened up to you as well, but there was a lot of love, a strong bond, and it was a brand new beginning, okay? Now, here in your pr present energy is the Wheel of Fortune, so good luck is on your side right now. Presently, if there's something here that you want to do or that you're getting ready to show to the world, then now is when to do it because this is gonna garner a lot of attention and good luck is on your side. If you wanna play, okay, the lottery or if you wanna go to a casino and play, now is a time to do so because you you've got luck on your side. I'm also getting that something here is destined to come your way. Okay. If perhaps before or in the past you tried and tried and didn't get any results, that's because the results are coming in now. Now is the right timing. The wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. Now here in the uh, near future, you have the king of wands. So I do see that there's going to be a person here that you will be dealing with in the near future. It's a very confident person. Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. I see that this individual is very confident. Okay. I feel like this person is going to kind of, you know, make you feel that energy of enthusiasm. They might come with a lot of ideas. Okay. But I feel like this person is grounded. Okay. They're very much in their energy, they might be a business owner as well. Now let's go ahead and clarify why Namaste is here. This is all about you tuning into your spirituality. Maybe you've been disconnected from your spirituality. So this is all about you praying, manifesting, and also about you meditating to connect to that higher source within. Okay. Now let's go ahead and see why this is here. So Namaste, you have here the Knight of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, as well as a Moon Reverse. Could be Pisces energy, doesn't have to be. Uh, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. But here with Namaste, the moon reverse. So there is something here that is about to come out into the open. And this is also telling you open up open up, don't hide anything. It's time for you to be transparent, not only with people around you, but also with yourself. Be honest with yourself about situations, okay? And I do sense that if you were feeling lost before, when you start connecting to the universal forces, to the divine, to God, okay, then you're going to gain clarity. You're going to have clarity of mind, of spirit, and you're going to now know which way to go, okay? Now, I'm also seeing here with the Knight of Cups, 
get ready because somebody here is about to come in to sweep you off your feet. This person has a romantic feelings for you. If this is not a romantic partner, there is somebody here who's going to come in to make you feel inspired. Okay. It could be a friend. It could be a family member, a coworker. For others of you guys, of course, it's romantic. Okay. And if this person is romantic related, then this individual is coming in to want to get to know you. They want to, you know, get your attention in some kind of way. For others of you guys, this person is just going to provide some sort of inspiration. Okay. But I do see here that you're very closed off. You've been very closed off. Okay. So this is telling you open up just a little bit, step outside of your comfort zone. Okay. I feel like for some of you guys, you might be just in your mind, you know, you're kind of rationalizing everything. You're not very idealistic. You're more so realistic. So this is all about tuning into the energies of, you know, just kind of like heart, you know, chakra. I also sense that there's some kind of energy here where it's telling you to explore new things. Okay. Explore different people, new things, try to be more open to new people, new things that come your way. They might be a little bit different than you, than your usual type or taste or whatever. This is friend related, family related, or career related. It could also be an opportunity. Okay. It might be a little bit different than your usual norm or what you expected, but be open to this. I'm also getting that you're also going to be coming into a lot of money, a lot of pentacles coming your way. Okay. Now let's go ahead and clarify why this ace of cups is here in the recent past for you. Why is this ace of cups here in the recent past for you? And you have here the eight of swords, the world reverse, the four of wands, as well as the four of swords reverse. Okay. So I do see that in the recent past, there was some kind of unfinished business. Yes, there was a love that started, you know, very, very beautifully. Okay. Between you and somebody else. And I do sense that this led to some kind of a toxicity, some kind of a toxic union, that sort of thing. And I do sense that you needed to recover from this. I feel like you stepped away from it and you needed time to heal because you felt stuck in a situation. You felt like you were stuck between a hard place and, you know, a door, you know, that wouldn't open. And so there's this energy here with the eight of swords where you felt like a victim. Somebody here felt victimized with whether you or this other individual. But I do see that in the recent past, something was left unsaid. Something was left unsettled. There was some kind of unfinished business, even though there was some kind of a commitment and happiness at some point. Now, let's see why the Wheel of Fortune is in your present energies. Why is this Wheel of Fortune in your present energies? And you have here the Seven of Cups, the King of Pentacles, as well as the Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. The star could be Aquarius, Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Okay, whatever sign it is, I do see that good luck is in your favor. You're going to have a lot of options, but I also see that you're going to have to do a lot of healing. Right now, it's the time to do some healing. If you have an idea that you want to, you know, put out there into the world, now is when to do it. It's going to garner a lot of attention, okay? And I do sense that now is when this idea idea you should be putting yourself out there okay in the limelight now i'm also getting that right now you're going to be you know kind of coming into this energy where you're going to have a lot of options you're going to have to choose okay which one is the right option for you and i'm also getting that there's going to be some kind of energy coming in a very stable person that you are either meeting have met already okay but they're in your present energies either coming in but i do sense that you're going to feel very enthusiastic about this person i do sense that this person wants to explore you they want to get to know you and I feel like it's going to make you feel enthusiastic about the situation as well. Okay. Something here that's going to make you feel like there's butterflies in your stomach. Now let's see why the King of Wands is in the near future. Why is this King of Wands in the near future for you? You have here the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Swords, as well as a Nine of Cups Reverse, and at the bottom, the Devil. So be aware because in the near future, something here or somebody here is going to come in to tempt you. Okay. This is temptation. And again, remember those butterflies I talked about? If somebody here in the near future comes in. Okay. They might make you feel butterflies, you know, make you feel excited. But in this particular scenario, those butterflies are actually reason leaving your body. Okay. So be aware because this is temptation. This is something toxic, something here that is not good for you. Okay. Something here that might be self-sabotage, that sort of thing. It could also be a third party situation, or it could also be some kind of addictive cycle. Okay. In the near future. However, I do see that you do have the potential to 
come into some kind of a beautiful union to build abundance. And I also see that there's going to be an opportunity for you to make a lot of money in the near future. For some of you guys, it might be a business related matter. For others of you guys, it could also be commitment coming in. But I do also see that somebody here is being very selfish. I feel like the person who's being very selfish coming in the near future is some somebody here who, again, it's that kind of temptation. They're going to come in to tempt you to come back into this union, to go back into a toxic cycle, that sort of thing. And I do sense that this person, if they come in, they are disconnected emotionally, okay? They are not emotionally connected. I feel like this person might want a superficial connection, but I do feel like there's this other person, we did mention this other person, who is going to make you feel like inspired in some kind of way, okay? So if you want to check out the extended reading, we're going to go and dive deeper into this other person's subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves, actions towards you, also what spirit messages has for you, okay? And if you want to check that out, the link is down in the description box below to the extended. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with Psychic Source so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on Psychic Source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my Psychic Source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop and follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.